you've warned us more than once. So has Wilson Walker. He's been out there that with all of this snow melting, it's already starting to flood in parts of Yosemite and some of those campgrounds might actually be closed through tomorrow night. This is why. Yeah, it's it could be a lot worse because yeah. the river didn't quite rise up to the level where they had to close off the valley to visitors, but it's still obviously severely inconvenient for everybody who was hoping to camp in yeah. the valley and take advantage of but all of the wonders of Yosemite. Then you see beautiful shots like this. You do, and there's still plenty of water up there, so we're going to have to continue to monitor this. want to start with a look at exactly how much snow is still up in the Sierra. We can track that, and the blue line tracks where we are so far in the winter of 2022-2023 for the northern, central, southern Sierra and the state as a whole. And for the state as a whole, we're still at 136 percent in terms of water content of the snowpack of what's normal on April 1st. June 1st is next week. If you just compare it to where we're supposed to be on May 22nd, we're at 326% of normal, more than three times what is normally contained in terms of water in the snowpack. That is a lot of snow that is still up there. And of course, whenever the temperatures warm up, we're going to see the melting occurring and causing potential more downslope flooding concerns. This is the flood forecast for the Merced River at the Pohono Bridge. This is the entrance to Yosemite Valley, and this is how close it was to closing. It crested at 12.1 feet which is just below the level at which they do have to close off Yosemite Valley. Now it's gradually going to go down because the temperatures are going to cool off, which means there isn't going to be as much melting happening as quickly. And that cooling trend is going to impact us here in the Bay Area as well. Much cooler for inland parts of the Bay Area tomorrow, any from 8 to 12 degrees below today's toasty temperatures inland. High temperatures are going to remain below average. This upper level storm system is going to settle in, which means we're going to see the cooler temperatures and also a deeper marine layer eventually being able to push a little bit farther inland. Right now,